Hello, you are welcome. Here, let's solve this nice algebra equation involving roots here. We have square root of 9. Then inside that, we have square root of 27. Then also square root of 81, which is equals to 243 raised to power 2x from here. Now, let's square both sides. On this method, you square this side and also square this side. Such that this square will cancel one of the square roots here. Then we are left with 9. Then square root of 27. Then also inside that, square root of 81. Which is then equals to this power multiplies from the law of indices. And this gives us 243 raised to power 4x then in the next step as well we can square again when we square both sides again so this square will affect 9 that's 9 square then multiply by it will affect this square root so square cancel square root and that's 27 times root 81 which is equals to this power also multiply and then we have 243 raised to power 8x now. Then in the next step, we can write 9 square. Again, 9 can be written as 3 square. Then square times, we write 27 as 3 raised to power 3. Then times root 81 is same thing as 9. Which is equals to on this side we can change this one to 3 raised to power 5 so 3 multiply itself 5 places to give us 243 then raised to power 8x from here then in the next step this power multiplies here so we have 3 raised to power 4 times 3 raised to power 3 times here also is 3 raised to power 2 that will give us 9 which is equals to from here when we multiply this power we have 3 raised to power 40x then applying the law of indices on this side we can bring this together 3 raised to power 4 plus 3 plus 2 which is equals to 3 raised to power 40x from here then in the next step we have when we sum this together this is 3 raised to power 9 which is equals to 3 raised to the power 40x. Then, since the base are equal, it means we can equate the power. Then we have 40x equals to 9. Divide both sides by 40 from here. Then we have 40 cancel out here. Then x now will be equals to 9 over 40 from here. So we got x equals to 9 over 40. Now let's use another method. So two from here, we can rewrite this as square root of nine. Then multiply by this twenty-seven now contain two roots. So we have root then inside that again root twenty-seven. Then multiply by eighty-one contain three roots. Now we have square root of also square root of then square root of eighty-one now. Then which is equals to, we have on this side, we can change this from this to 43 and then we can write it as 3 raised to power 5, then raised to power 2x from here. Because this multiplied itself 5 places will give us 243. Then in the next step, we have square root of 9 as 3 then times here since when we have square root it means raised to power half so 2 of it will mean raised to power 1 over 4 so we have 27 raised to power 1 over 4 now then times also from here this will be 81 raised to power 1 over 8 which is equals to here we can multiply the power and we have 3 raised to the power 10x then in the next step 
let's change 27 to base 3 then we can write this as 3 times here 3 raised to the power 3 then times 1 over 4 raised to the power 1 over 4 then times also from here 3 raised to the power 4 then raised to the power 1 over 8 then equals to 3 raised to the power 10 x from here then in the next step since this power multiply so this become 3 raised to the power 1 from here then times 3 raised to the power 3 over 4 then times here 4 can go in it that's 2 that's 3 raised to the power 1 over 2 left here equals to 3 raised to the power 10 x here then from here we have seen this let's bring the power together we have 3 raised to the power 1 now plus 3 over 4 plus 1 over 2 equals to 3 raised to the power 10 from here 10 x from here then in the next step we can bring this together as one fraction then SCM is 4 of course this is 1 1 going 4 that's 4 times 1 that's still 4 plus 3 then plus here we have 2 which is equals to 3 raised to the power 10 x from here then from here when we sum this we have 3 raised to the power 9 over 4 equals to 3 raised to the power 10 x so the base are the same then when we equate the power we have 10 x now equals to 9 over 4 of course we can cross multiply 10 x times 4 that's 40 x equals to 9 next divide both sides by 40 and then from here 40 we cancel 40 here then we have x equals to 9 over 40 which is the same as from the first method therefore we have the answers to the problem the answer to the problem is x equals to 9 over 40 thank you for watching subscribe for more exciting videos don't forget these steps also you can share give a thumbs up and uh, comment on this video thank you see you next class then bye for now